One of the largest communications providers in the world, Fortune 15 giant Verizon, has built their business capitalizing on data and analytics, replacing gut decisions with data-driven, science-based decision-making. We deliver the digital promise to our customers. We make their innovative lifestyle possible. We do all of that by offering the most reliable network and in the latest technology. But Teradata is our backbone to our data warehouse. And ever since the formation of Verizon in year 2000, we've started this partnership with Teradata. And our entire enterprise data warehouse runs on Teradata. And every day, it is supporting us with decision making. Reporting to the CMO and CFO organizations, the business intelligence team supports sales, marketing, and finance. Naturally, my team is roughly 50% marketing, 30% finance, and 20% IT. So we live in the world of all three together. Why so is that we need the marketing vision and the sales rigor to, to produce the most relevant offer to our customers. And then at the same time, we need to have the finance rigor to ensure that whatever we offer to the customer is also profitable to the business so that we're responsible to our shareholders. Serving IT, the BI team ensures that business gets the most actionable products and services rather than technology-focused solutions assuring the best performance for all three organizations. Our mission is to be the honest voice and the independent third-party opinion on the success or um, opportunities for improvement to the business. So my unit is viewed as the golden source of information. And we come across uh, with the honest voice. A lot of the business decisions, right, are through various rounds of course correction. The team relies on the seven Ps of marketing, people, product, place, process, pricing, promo, and physical evidence executed correctly to penetrate the market. The modern day marketing theory involves seven Ps. It starts with people. You have to understand your customers, understand their needs, hence create the product. Then you move on to where they shop, which is the place. Then you move on to the process to get to the places. Then you work on the pricing, and the promo to get their attention. Then lastly, you got to focus on physical evidence, which is business intelligence. You have to convince the business you are penetrating the market in the way you thought you are and you are optimal in the offers you made. With Teradata Unified Data Architecture, Verizon uses analytics in three ways to innovate and disrupt in the competitive telco market. One, identify new opportunities for revenue two, within the core business of mobile, and three, business planning in supply chain, staffing, and the seven Ps of marketing. For revenue, advanced analytics give critical insights to the Internet of Things, which in turn generate opportunities for top-line growth. For business planning, customer behavior analytics allow finance to better predict earnings in a fast-changing market. Aster and or predictive modeling becoming very important here. So we, we do follow the customer's journey and we track the people that were on two-year contracts. How quickly do they churn um, or how slowly do they churn? And then usually the pattern would be very, very low and spike near the 24-month mark. But you can clearly see they churn a little bit more every month. But then that spike at the tail end isn't, isn't as, as, as obvious as before. But overall, over the course of two years, they're still similar. So that kind of eased some of our concerns. Hence, we will be able to advise our business planning group. So from the new in-source of customers, you need to model their churn or upgrade in this new pattern. Whereas the declining base, you need to continue to model them off the old pattern. And that way, you will have a much better prediction into our quarterly earnings. Quarterly churn predictions are within one to 2% with laser accurate data and analytics. Remember, Verizon revenue for one year is $131 billion. Executing at this level takes a specialized team. In the advanced analytics world, I'm primarily looking for a combination of talent skills. And one of them is the 
certainly the statistical and mathematical modeling skills. And equally important is the SQL skill to get the data to be put into the statistical model. But the other two are equally important, if not more important, that is one, communication skills. Now, the fourth component is what I call business acumen. That is absolutely important. Depending on the project that you're working on, you absolutely need to include that part of the business to your team so that you are addressing their problems, not our problems. So I'm looking for all four, and it's nearly impossible to find the people that have all four. So what I strive for is that together we have a virtual unicorn. Together, this team continues to anticipate disruptions in the marketplace to turn them into competitive advantage. I think Teradata has always been uh, part of our architecture design and we continue to seek the best solutions to achieve our business objectives. And we bring in new software that makes sense. We bring in the new combination of hardware that will yield the best performance, whether it's from a storage side or from the runtime perspective. I think Teradata has absolutely been a partner of ours in optimizing our solutions to our problems. Verizon, using advanced analytics to deliver on their digital promise to help customers innovate their lifestyle.